Hey everyone, welcome to an epic journey through time as we uncover the history of the atom. Let's start in ancient Greece around 400 BCE with Democritus and Leucippus. These philosophers proposed that everything was made up of tiny indivisible particles they called atomos, meaning uncuttable. But here's the twist. Aristotle, the big shot philosopher of the time, wasn't a fan. He pushed the idea that matter was made of earth, water, air, and fire. His view stuck around for nearly 2,000 years putting atomic theory on the back burner. Fast forward to the 17th century. Robert Boyle, the father of modern chemistry, kicked Aristotle's elements to the curb. In his work, The Skeptical Chymist, Boyle suggested that matter was made of particles, paving the way for modern chemistry. Then came Isaac Newton, who hinted at a particle theory of matter in his book, Optics. Moving into the 18th and 19th centuries, we meet Antoine Lavoisier, often called the father of modern chemistry. His work on the conservation of mass in chemical reactions hinted that substances were composed of fundamental units. But it was John Dalton, in 1808, who proposed the first modern atomic theory. Dalton said elements were made of indivisible atoms unique to each element and even developed the first atomic weight table. Next, we dive into the late 19th and early 20th centuries. In 1897, J.J. Thompson discovered the electron, proposing the plum pudding model where electrons were scattered within a positively charged soup. This showed atoms weren't indivisible, as Dalton thought. Then, Marie and Pierre Curie discovered radioactivity, revealing atoms could break down and release energy. Ernest Rutherford's gold foil experiment in 1909 led to the discovery of the atomic nucleus changing our understanding of atomic structure. Now, we're in the early 20th century with quantum mechanics revolutionizing atomic theory. Niels Bohr in 1913 introduced the idea that electrons orbit the nucleus in quantized energy levels. This explained atomic stability and emission spectra. Then Erwin Schrödinger and Werner Heisenberg developed wave and matrix mechanics respectively, describing electron behavior in terms of probabilities. Finally, James Chadwick discovered the neutron in 1932, completing the basic structure of the atom, a nucleus of protons and neutrons, surrounded by an electron cloud. Today's quantum model shows electrons in probabilistic orbitals not fixed paths, and the standard model of particle physics tells us that protons and neutrons consist of even smaller particles called quarks. So why does this matter? Atomic theory has revolutionized science and technology, leading to advancements in chemistry, nuclear physics, and quantum mechanics. It's the foundation for technologies like nuclear energy, medical imaging, and nanotechnology. Thanks for joining me on this whirlwind tour of atomic history. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating science content. Until next time, keep questioning and stay curious.